Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two very large numbers. This problem is from Russia, by the way. I don't know what competition, but I just saw this in a book. So we are going to find out which number is greater. We have 1,000, okay, 1,979 factorial squared. I just I was just thinking about 1979. So this problem probably probably appeared on a math contest in 1979. Anyways, 1979 factorial squared or 1979 to the power 1979. So we have an exponential number, we have a factorial squared. Obviously one of these numbers is going to be greater than the other one. They are not equal for sure, right? So let's go ahead and find out which number is greater. Awesome. And at the end, I'm not going to give you what the numbers are. Obviously, Wolfram Alpha can give you the answer. You can easily find it. If you try Desmos, it's probably going to give you an error, but anyways. Uh, but yes, definitely you can find it with a calculator if you are curious. But I'll give you how many numbers, uh, how many digits these numbers have at the end. So, how do you compare these numbers? First of all, let's start with the factorial. I kind of want to think about this factorial. So what is factorial? Okay, 1979 factorial. What is n factorial? It is just a product of numbers, right? 1 through n. Or some people write it n through 1, whatever. So this is like a kind of consecutive integers multiplied together. Of course, this is when it's multiple, uh, defined for integers. You can also define it for non-integers with a gamma function, so on and so forth. But we're just talking about integers here. So we have the square. So that means I can use the factorial twice. So think about it this way. I can write the 1979 factorial as 1 times 2 times 3 times that, 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 all the way up to 1979. Uh, but I could also write it as 1979, 1978, dot, 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 3, 2, 1. Right? We can write it backwards or forward, doesn't matter. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're kind of going to pair these up in a nice way. How? We're going to pair them up such that the two elements in the pair add up to 1980. Why 1980? Because if you start with the uh, first pair, for example, these two, you're going to notice that they add up to one, uh, 1980. If you take these two, they're going to add up to 1980. If you take these two numbers, the last pair, it's going to be the same. So all these numbers can be paired up because we have an equal number of numbers in each set. So here's what we're going to get from here. 1 times 1979, I'm going to group them together. Multiply by 2 times 1978. And then dot, dot, dot. It's just going to go backwards. 1978 times 2. And then finally, 1979 times 1. So that's one of my numbers. And the other number is just going to be 19. Okay, I say 19, but I write 17. Sometimes that happens. 1979. That happened to me once, actually. I didn't, have any, I didn't get any sleep, and I had to teach the next day. And I'm like writing one on the board, and it's saying two, and what I mean is three. So that's what uh, mathematicians do sometimes. But I'm not saying I'm a mathematician, but anyways. Just wanted to share with you one of my experiences. So, yeah. So we have the same number of numbers. If you look at the second one, uh, each factor in the product is paired up with a pair. Make sense? So we have a single number associated with a pair. So we're going to be comparing a pair with a pair with a single number. So like this one with this one. And then we're going to compare this one with this one. So hopefully we'll be able to figure that out. So here's how it goes. Think about it. One times 1979. Same thing, right? So they're equal. But can I say the following? Can 1 times 1979, allow me to say that, be greater than or equal to 1979? I'm comparing these two numbers. Yes, it's true. Why people say, no, it's not greater. It's not greater, it's equal. So greater or equal to is good. Okay, what about the 2? 2 times 1978 is definitely greater than 1979. Oh, come on, you know that, right? 39 something? Yes, definitely. It's close to 4,000. Come on. And then what about this? It's going to be even larger, like crazy, right? It's going to get larger. But here's the thing. This is going to go backwards, right? Obviously. Now we're going to arrive at this. Well, this is still greater than 1979. And finally, we come back, kind of wrap around, and we had to use the greater than or equal to sign because otherwise it would be wrong, right? Here's the idea. The left-hand side, numbers on the left-hand side are always greater than or equal to numbers on the right-hand side. 
How about multiplying these side by side? That's going to do the trick. If you multiply these numbers, you're going to notice this is 1979 factorial times itself, which is 1979 or 1979 factorial squared. And on the right-hand side, we have 1979, written 1979 times and multiplied, so it is 1979th power. And I can put a greater than sign because all the numbers on the left-hand side are greater than, except for two, which are equal, but as a product, definitely the left-hand side is going to be greater than the right, greater than the right-hand side. Now, let's take a look at the number of digits of these numbers. Let me give you what the number of digits are. This is a number with 11,333 digits. Of course, I'm talking about the square of the factorial, which is like, wow, that's crazy. And this is a number with 6,524 digits. So it's almost like, kind of like twice the number of digits. Obviously, they're very much apart. This number is much, much larger, but that's it. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.